Hello and welcome back. We're currently in Sayuka and we were tasked to actually take out the, the druid apparently in this area. We don't really know where they are, but I guess we're gonna leave uh, the town uh, by foot. Perhaps we have two uh, directions to go towards. I'm not so sure. Because we can't use two gates in the town. I just assumed that we're just gonna go out on the world map. But perhaps that is not the case whatsoever. Uh, that is actually exactly the case. Yeah, that's just the... Uh, like, regular loot everything. So, this is the bog. We were told to check out and kill all the druids. But is that the right thing to do? Do we care if you get paid? Don't know. We'll see. Oh, okay. A lot of people dead already. They have nothing. They were sent here with nothing. To kill a bunch of druids. You cozy up to the awful vines. I'll find a way around. Should we take out the vines? Should we burn them down? Apparently it's... Weak to cold. Maybe I should do a uh, pillar. Okay. Turn up the extra speed. Come on, don't interrupt my thingy. The guy interrupted again. I think I just have to start every combat with just putting on the shield. That is just uh, a must have. I used to do that, but. Somehow, thought that was not a good idea anymore. Get there? Sure. Also, we are just just here to make friends with uh, uh, plants, of course. Shiza? Sporling? Bog Lurker? Shiza, go away! Bog lurker. Maybe I should do it right now. Mm. These are dumb conditions. Just if you don't have concentration, put the spirit shield on. Done. You can check it more often. Okay. Is this bug lurker immune to pierce? Yeah. Hey, watch it with that. So immune to her shots, but the bug dude in the back won't be. Anyone who uses Pierce solely? No, no, no. No. We got. Why are we so slow? Fine ones? Just say the word. That order Damn. Lost cat? Just chilling here? I, I guess the druids don't hurt you, but still. Between the eyes. I have to say I don't like these druids that much. 
<laughs> like how they're just spamming the knockdown. I hear you. Spore Link. Bog Barbarian? Really? Spore Link, uh, rest in peace. Yeah. Ink Harp. Leave it to me. Yeah, it's not too bad to get her some uh, materials for the enchant tank. Only fine. That means this is sure. probably a low level area. Of course, the difficulty scaled up a little bit, but not significantly. A lot of people dead. I have to go with the Royal Titans uh, with this one. These uh, buck people are fairly aggressive. Maybe they are on their toes, but... Damn. What the hell is that? Meeting of the godlikes? You find four godlike druids waiting for you in the clearing. The deaf and the moon godlike whisper to one another. Their gaze is occasionally falling on you. The nature godlike sways slightly on her feet, her eyes half closed, while the fire godlike balls his fist at his sides and grits his teeth. Your every step fouls the ground. Why do you pollute this sacred place? I've come to end your conflict with the Royal Deathfire Company. The Rawatayan invaders trespassed upon our sacred ground and ignored our overtures. The fault for this conflict lies not with us. The flame of the summer's hair burns briefly brighter. Autumn gently calms her fiery counterpart. Why should we believe you are any different? Well, I'm not. Autumn's question is genuine. It's a genuine one. She's intent to hear you out. The real Death Fire Company. Damn. I'm not a ranger. I'm not a druid. The real Death Fire Company will raise this first to the ground. Come on, I, I have such a high Diplo. 11, it's not good enough. An end comes to all things in time. And we do not fear the Rawatayan invaders. Nor you. Good for you. What? That was not a threat on my part. That was just a statement. Just, I noted that that's just gonna happen. I know these Rawatayan people. Oh boy, good luck passing that wall. Wall of everybody dies. Please, Seraph, and don't be a stupid. They're dominated. Well, I guess we couldn't uh, go for the friendly approach here. What? Minus 20% action speed, plus damage, increases its survivor skill, plus penetration. That's bad. Restore 10 health to nearby allies and scoring a kill. Ah, whatever, let's take their stuff. I'm pretty sure that those things can inflict injuries. Wow, those are some serious hits. Well, I guess I solved the druid problem.
Despite not being entirely sympathetic to their cause. But what can you do? Oh. Rahi pods. Obviously, I'm going back to s the Fleet Master's quarters. Not much to do here, but hey, might as well be thorough. They just attacked the town, killing civilians. No doubt the druids plot their next attack even as we speak. Nope, did that. Excellent. You are as dependable as I've been told to expect. Now we can begin logging in earnest. Right. Regarding your reward, we seized a cache of weapons from a gang of pirates we caught sniffing about Sayuka. Well, those never have anything, so can you just give me money? Of course, we only use regulation weaponry here, so I'd appreciate it if you'd take these off my hands before one of my engineers does something foolish with them. Okay. You found me with a rare spare moment. Who are Did you? you not read the name on the uh. door before you came in? Ah, I'm a fleet master of the. Already we we talked already. Okay. Okay, we're leaving Sayuka, and going back to Nekataka, perhaps talking with the queen. I don't know. I kind of wanna start a rebellion. So I wanna change the form, form of government. Mm. The Huana the has. Is good for starting fires. Huh. Well, this has been an education. How do we leave? Yeah, okay, sure. Oh. I have to click over there. Yeah, we're leaving by sea. How do we do it? Because this tribal... I'm calling it socialist, perhaps that's incorrect. Uh, a caste system is not exactly working. Principe San Patrena? Malnai? You have barely cleared Sayuka Harbor when a sleek half galley appears off your port bow. It rides high in the water and fast, but keeps its distance as it approaches land. Seraphim watches the ship's passage from the bulwark, expression grim. When the ship turns to pursue you, pursue you, you recognize as Malnai's vessel, the Misery's Delight. It, its cannon don't seem primed, and it aims to come alongside rather than set up a broadside run. Looks like the High Queen, Sea Devil, be wanting words cap. Not sure if that be good or ill, but at least it mean, it'll mean she ain't on Sayuka. Seraphon's ear angles slightly back, and he messages, massages the Bridge of his nose. I'm really glad to know about that. As the Miser's Delight comes alongside, Malnai stands on the railing, one great furred hand wrapped tight about a thick hemp line. She bows low, doffing her hat, and then tosses it to one of her deckhands. You guys wanna die? That might just how it work out. They already did me the trouble of getting close. Kill them. Kill them. Wait, what? Is gonna be a fight? Oh, you land loving bag of bilge bile. You owe me 400 pounds, a ship, and your cog swabbing life. Oh, right. <laughs> Come on, just because that information didn't pan out. Don't be like that. These pirates. Got the 
They have no honor. Wait, what? It's two augurs coming out. Hey, who's not with us? I think that's that is the guy. Not sure I can. No problem. Is the set? Wait, what? You don't get the loot? I can click up to the world map. That was weird. Okay, I guess Mana is dead. All the Prince in New Blood will eventually and and pretty quickly uh die by the looks of it. I wanted to buy some kind of a scope, telescope, if that works. To increase our line of sight with the ship. Perhaps I'm wrong about that. Actually we should check out the the sailors. These people are still injured. Which is just unreasonable. So, apparently we are in, perhaps in the city. So can we just make some replacements? Anybody who's injured... Uh, it just goes away. You guys heal back at port. Anybody else? I don't know. That can't. That's cannoneer. Cannoneer, go back to your job. Navigator, helmsman. Is that a navigating position? Oh, that's a helmsman. Okay, what we have here. The cook. Deckhand. Do we need deckhands? Do we need the surgeon or the cook? To heal up. Who we gonna take? Maybe we're gonna not take uh, either of them. And they're just gonna heal back up uh, in port. Anyway. Where do we go? I think we gotta go to Serpent's Crown. And the top of the... Kahanga Palace. Now, I can kill the queen, but does that really achieve anything? And that's why I'm a little bit tempted to run around with Elat. He is a cool character, first of all. It's a bit of a bummer that we can't use all the characters. So, but I suppose, fine. So far, I like Seraphim. Uh, of course, I like other. I kind of like all the characters we have. So I don't really want to get rid of any of them. Queen Wonkaza too. My scouts tell me that you sail from Oriokoiki. The queen raises her brow. Do the Wahaki pay the crown obeisance in whatever eccentric form suits them? You can look forward to Wahiki's support. When the need arises. You have united the Juana with our missing limb. Prayer and the wisdom of Kohopa will help steer my next course. I need... I will send for you in time. I had some other questions. Speak freely, Herald of Bereth. I'd like to discuss the... Oh, we should speak about the girl's food shortage. Yes! If you're gonna... If you're not gonna... React the way I want to. Oh, you're dead. Does the gullet lack? The seasons play havoc on our crops, I say. Between the rotten food piles and the scarcity, the gullet barely supports life. You aren't feeding your people, Highness. Careful. No, that's true. Every day that my people wake up to the sound of birds instead of cannon fire, I am feeding them. When they walk to a market at a leisurely pace, I am feeding them. 
Well... Do not presume otherwise. What? Are you trying to intimidate me? Sounds like something you say to yourself about like, yeah, security is important. But you know what's more important than security? Especially, well, for those people who don't even have enough food to live? Well, food! Speak to my brother Aruihi. He handles local concerns while I lose sleep over the archipelago. Now, with that out of the way, is there nothing else? So you just don't give a damn. Why do you put up with the... Okay, you know what? We're gonna talk to your brother. Let's just see how corrupt this thing is. It does seem like she's struggling to... Uh, to stay in power and perhaps... Uh, Where's the guy? Kahanga Palace, let's go down. And uh, maybe make their system of government work. Uh, yes, I suppose that's a good way to put it. Because the thing is, the Roparu not only uh, poor and they give away what they got and and dying because of it and uh, Whatever, but they also in a cast of like laborers, so they're not even uh, Allowed to to be more than that Do not leave me in suspense. I say have you found Matario cozy? Yeah Ask whatever I know is for you uh, No further questions do not leave me in suspense. I have other questions. questions. The royal brother will hear you. Uh, we should talk about the food shortage in the gullet. Shortage? Are the Raparu not fed the leavings of the Quaru and Mataru? <sighs> the artisanal and merchant class of the Huana society, though skilled and craftsmanship are respected, those born into the Quara are not given the equivalent praise of the Mataru. The highest class of a Huana society, consisting primarily of warriors and priests. Tribal chieftains traditionally rise from the warrior ranks. The Mataru shoulder the responsibility of governing the other castes and determining the practical and spiritual needs of the tribe. Okay. I guess you could be technic you could be technically correct. As the lowest class of Huana society, the Roparu are designated to work as unskilled laborers and to starve in times of scarcity. Okay. Their status is a, a function of survival in the often unforgiving deathfire and not a moral judgment. The Roparu are destined to be reborn <laughs> into the Kurau or Matau class in their next lives. The Downstars have agreed to offer a share of their crops to Nekataka as long as the bulk of it goes to the Roparu. You're killing those people, at least you could do is pay attention. His eyes narrow, Prince Aruihi slowly begins to take deep breaths through his nose. You overreach, Captain. This is a dangerous thing to do in Nekataka, much less the halls of the Kahanga. Find us solutions instead of old problems, I say. It would be a shame if trading companies recognized this failure of leadership. The Downstars have agreed to offer the share of their crops to Nekataka, as long as the bulk of it goes to the Raparu. My sister would call this a test from the gods. It is our role to feed the Raparu, and we do not pass on our duties to outsiders. But I am of a different mind. Nothing pleases in Gati like an unlikely solution, and this is what you bring. If you have more to say, I am not above listening. Inform Enoy about the deal. Now 
Now, we can kill these people, but do we have a better idea? Well, we, we certainly do, but would they follow us? Most likely not. So what we can do is go for a blood bath in the palace. Ishii keeps hopping in your direction, Firefly. What you been feeding him? No more than a handful, or few, of Merc berries. I swear. <laughs> you keep doing that, he's gonna follow you all the way home to Raid Saris. To meet my kin? <laughs> now wouldn't that be a tribulation? I know I'd make the journey for less than a few Merc berries. Well. So we're gonna go to the gullet and know his home. Tell him that, for the time being, we got some food. And, uh, I guess I'll be, I'll keep working on, uh, a more long-term solution. As much as I would like to overthrow this form of government, I think, yes, we would overthrow the capital, but every other tribe would still uh, just go with the same form of government, and perhaps they would consider me an enemy. They seem to be uh, pretty okay with this form of government, because they just don't know any better. Anyhow, and seems like with the with the crisis of Eotas walking uh, the land, perhaps this is not the time to destabilize the Huana. Where's Inoy? Need something. Did I come to the right place? Did I just misclick? So while overthrowing the government and killing a bunch of people in charge feels right, uh it doesn't mean it's effective and correct. So we went to the wrong home. <laughs> Damn it. We just have to uh, at least remind ourselves even later that this is not normal and uh, we don't get too comfortable with the situation. Anyway, Noi. Downstairs will share their crops, but the and the queen will allocate the majority for the gullet. Old man's eyes glisten. I heard of missionaries distributing food throughout the gullet. Though I did not think it could be true. Not in this lifetime could I have hoped for more. To have garnered our queen's generosity. Stop. I ache to believe it. Stop giving credit to the queen. Never can I thank you enough, Watcher, who has the ear of both kith and gods. Always the Raparu will know of your kindness. Should you need refuge within Negadaka, Know that the Raparu will stand by your side. So, in in this in a way, we already gained favor with the Raparu. So, if we actually plan to overthrow the government and one Kaza too, then they might just back me. Take care, old man. May Amira's wind ever fill your sails, girl. We will not forget what you have done for us. All right. So the pirates took us for merchants and fell right into our trap. That sure sounds dangerous and fun as hell. The first time Uncle Angbert trained me with a lantern, I set a whole row of Merkberry stalks on fire. You didn't. I did. The whole house came running and hollering. You should have seen my grandma beating at the stalks with a shovel. <laughs> of course, she came after me next. Not so much grows in Rautai. 
With a little luck, I'll have a farm story of my own someday. Hmm. Alright. We might need to leave this place. Go to Harama. That far northeast has a lot of missions. Northwest? Travel to the ruins or what? Otara Kozi is nestled in the Ku Kua or Rikuhu chain of islands. Long journey to the, the northeast of Nekataka. It's northeast again. Southeast? Ikorno? Okay. So we did... Oh, we can go back to Martino. Queen's bird. Sure, I forgot about that. Valero Estate. So we gotta go there. Have a little bit of talk. <clears throat> or Subalera? Let the Bardatos be an example for others. Probably not gonna be friends with these people. But hey. Martino! Skillfully done. I remember my friends. Be sure of that. I do. What? Wait, what? The soldiers have been downfield. Martino will be waiting for me back at Valera Estate. Skillfully done. I remember. What? My okay, let's let's reload. This mission might be buggy, or I don't know, because we didn't have a way to. Break it, I guess. We couldn't like tell them that I, we we are not gonna do the mission or something. We, like there was no other solution to it, and he doesn't even wanna. Skillfully done. I do. Accepted. Friends, be sure of that. All right, Martino. Maybe they just hate me. Is that the case? Do they just hate me? Let's see. Let's check the reputation. Is that in the middle? Principi? Seems like in the middle. Royal Deathfire Company? They kinda like me. That that five is doesn't seem like a good one. Bailing Trading Company, don't like me. The gullet like me a little bit. But I also went into the red, seems like. I went into the red and went into the... The blue as well. The ones who like me the most are the children of the Dawn Stars. The slavers don't like me that much. Perhaps the problem is that we actually killed the other great house here. <laughs> that, that's just how it goes, you know? A bit of misunderstanding. Turning into a scuffle, scuffle turning into a, a bloodbath, bloodbath turning into a big loot fest. Nothing special, I suppose. So, where do we go? Northeast? Or... Or south... Southeast? Also, also wanted to buy a... A telescope? Can we supply? Okay, if someone has a telescope, it's gotta be this guy, right? It, well, either this guy, or... Come on. Either this guy, or the shipwright. And maybe we can get some other upgrades for the ship. Well 
come back. How might I assist? Certainly, sir. So we got a spyglass. Snakeskin grimoire. Seemingly it doesn't give us anything. What about the ship? What? I just bought a telescope. Can we use it? I guess not, or maybe it's just gonna come up later. I don't know. We'll see. I'm really hoping that it's gonna um, just boost that line of sight with the ship. But I do wanna pop in and, and check the ship right before we sail out. Then we're gonna sail out. Some more. Business comes and goes like the tide. Oh. Buying a better ship. So, better sails, travel speed, combat speed, sail half. Why, is, why are these things so expensive? Captain Quarters, more luxurious. What? Pen created to house of all the extra pets that can be taken on adventures. Okay, seems like he doesn't have anything that could help us. All right, I guess we're going. We're gonna see if the telescope helps. Probably doesn't. <laughs> but looks like we, we had to buy it. Because we just never find one. Ahoy! Let's go. I don't know where to go. We have s so many missions to the north and to the east and to the south. Mostly to the east and northeast. Not sure what to make of it. I might just go and uh, go back to the laboratory that we, well, checked out one time, but we couldn't exactly figure out the puzzle. Well, well, we didn't find the pieces of the puzzle, so <clears throat> maybe didn't have enough perception or, or level uh, to find it at the time. Oh, yeah, unidentified location. I think we were here at one time, but it was too hard. Do we see more? It seems like we are seeing more because of this telescope, but I might just be dreaming it. Okay, let's go here. Tikawara. Well, we could have looted that the way out. The fetid vegetal smell of decay alerts you to the swamp before you stumble upon it. It extends far into the distance, overgrown with ancient trees and vines. Solid patches of ground are few and far between. Crossing the moors will likely demand many miles of arduous travel. Forge ahead into the swamp. Yep, did it. With patience and some careful maneuvering, you manage to keep yourself and the others out of the stinking morass and on dry ground. You come upon a particularly buggy stretch surrounded by dense trees with not a single patch of dry ground in sight. With no way, forge, way, no way forward but uh, through, you forge ahead into the bog. You are startled by a chorus of moaning voices. You spin across around, searching for the source, but the uh, moans seem to come from every direction at once. 
Through the trees you spot a narrow deer trail. You may be able to get free of the bug that way, but there's no telling where it leads. After the path. With some quick thinking and good guide sense, Maya leads you safely to the path. You pause to catch your breath before forging on, but don't have long to rest. The morning growls louder and closer. You're surrounded. No way! <clears throat> oh, They're coming for me. Some skeletons. Still got it. I don't know their level. Yeah, you can probably not do that. Come on, Adair. I wanted to brush away. Just stand on dry, dry ground, dry land. Ooh, that hurt. Did, did he run out of uh, discipline? No, oh. but he did use up a lot. Leave it to me. Is that it? Exceptional. What? More broadcast. I would like to see more conditions. Uh in the AI. Perhaps the... well... The goal is that you actually have to play the game yourself, but actually I, I find it fun that uh, you just program an AI and they just... Uh, um, they do their fighting on their own. <laughs> Well, perhaps not entirely on their own, but mostly on their own. Forgotten Catacomb. Oh, I see. A lush, narrow valley lies below you. You spot an overgrown st stone structure built into the valley's side in the distance. Before the stone st structure spreads a broad field peppered with ancient pliths and mounds of cracked stonework. As you move closer, you discover that the stone structure is always the entrance to a crypt. It's actually the entrance to the crypt, though the doorway is thick with mud and as damp as a sweat slick skin. You continue down into the dark. Oh, here we go! Some fancy crypt! Yeah, there is using a saber and a wooden shield. The picture, Maya using the arquebus. Oh, this place big or what? Dargu. Revenant ogre. Now you be right screwed. 
Oh boy, Maya got charm. Don't kill Maya. Well, that's annoying. Is she charmed or confused? Oh, it's over. Vampires are, are not weak. Single of atrophy. Does it? I think it causes permanent debuffs. Immune to pierce and slash. Exceptional, exceptional heavy armor. Huh. Action speed in melee increases with target engaged, plus one enemies engaged. That's very interesting. So that could be potentially a, a really, really good one for a melee fighter that engages a lot of enemies. <laughs> Still garbage. What the hell? How did you come over here? I don't think I can pull that off. See that, Ishi? That order is too tall. See you. Let's do a disintegrate instead. So, some dark goose. <clears throat> Seems like that's it. Nothing else here. Alright. Well, time to leave. <sighs> what should we name it? I don't know. Let's name it Bog Boys. That sounds like an appropriate name for an island. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.